Jeremy just to the inside. Every time these guys start together, it seems like Larocco beats them off the line. Over to the inside, they've got Tim Ferry on that four-stroke Yamaha. Just to his inside is right there, that elbow. That's David Billiman, who returned to action last week. And they're revving up, ready to go for the first qualifying heat of the 250s underway. McGrath with a great start. Ferry goes down in a big log jam, including Villeman and several other riders. You see number 13. I think I'd change that number if I were Tortelli. He's the easy to pick out tonight because he's all in black. Glad that this race doesn't happen during the day because he would have been dying of the heat. The mummy returns. And we'll explain that a little later as Jeremy McGrath is out in front of Mike LaRocco right now. Jason McCormick, the privateer out of the state of Washington in third. Jason McCormick was an Ironman in Salt Lake City last week, qualifying for both the 125 and the 250 division. These guys are going to have a tough time catching McGrath out front. There's LaRocco in second trying to chase him down. He just lost some time to McGrath already coming out of that corner. Jeremy, in this opening lap, has just been flawless, Art. Mike LaRocco re-upping with the Honda. And his team, Amsoil Honda, for a two-year stint. As we take a look now at 934, David Villeman. Villeman, difficult year for this young Frenchman, who last year was second in points to Jeremy McGrath in the championship chase. Well, I think he just felt like the year he had last year, he should be able to go through the offseason and step up his training and riding intensity just a little bit, come into this season and really rock, but... He got rocked at the first round. I think that really dinged his confidence. Then at the next round, the very first practice session in San Diego, he broke some ribs, and it's been downhill ever since. But last week... Yes, great comeback. Was, yeah, I was pretty impressed. He was matching LaRocco's pace all the way through the pack. Here he goes around McCormick. Maybe. In the whoops, McCormick with the edge, but look at the great turn by Villeman as he goes over the finish line jump. Wonderful move by David Villeman. He's coming off the injured list. This is his first race last week, it was, since getting his uh, broken collarbone at Minneapolis. McGrath has been unbelievable. Look at his timing. Look at the confidence he has. Just setting the bike right where he wants it to be. Watch him double this. A little seat bounce right there to compress the suspension, get the rebound. This is the approach to the next triple. You can tell when Jeremy's riding when comfortably when the bike's working, he has a certain style, a certain posture and confidence to him. Look at how still his body is for that whoop, that whoop section. I mean, he's gone through there faster than anyone has so far tonight. It looks the easiest. Well, he was able to take the opportunity of a very rough start here in our first qualifying heat for the 250s. Yeah, as look we at take this. Another look. Jeremy gets a great jump. You can tell right away. Watch him shift with his heel. He doesn't have time to put his foot on the peg. He leans in on Ferry and no way. Ferry, look. Looked like Jeremy almost got shoved to the outside, but he had the strength to hang on. LaRocco jumps out of that. But right here you got the number 13 of Tortelli. See Ferry wash out right away. Villeman right there. Nothing he could do. Check it out from on board with Tortelli. You got to have a good look for us. You see his helmet camera right there. Here's the start for Tortelli. Now, where are you going to go right there? He had nothing. Just a full traffic jam. Let's go down to Davey Coombs, Davey. Well, one thing that might have been helping Jeremy to that hole shot, Art, he is out there riding this weekend with an FMF pipe. Jeremy's been with Pro Circuit for just about forever, but he wanted to try something new for the last race. He's got an FMF exhaust system on for the first time. Look at his timing on that straightaway. Triples all the way through there, all the way into the corner. His last lap, 49 and a half. That's the fastest lap yet tonight. LaRocco in second, 50.3. That's not going to get it done. Morocco in second place, but David Villeman is starting to uh, inch up on him right here. We might have a battle for second place. Villeman is very well timed on this course. See, he just did that double right there behind Morocco, but he wasn't able to get to the inside the way McGrath is out front. So even though he jumped it, he didn't really make up the time. Watch the whoops. Here comes Villeman. But Morocco gets his way through that whoop section. Morocco is amazing when you consider this is the third decade he has raced 250s in. It's his 177th 250 Supercross start if he makes the main. And right now he's in second place in this qualifier. Top four. Get the transfer to the main event. Well, now he's getting a real battle, a little taste of his own medicine. He's always the guy coming through the pack, putting the pressure on. But Villeman is really riding well, Art. I mean, it's the confidence he gained from last week in the same situation, chasing Morocco up through the pack. 
He's able to study him. Now watch if he goes for this double again. Now LaRocco's doing it. Through the air, he slides forward, puts his foot out so he can get the corner made a little quicker, but they're still not catching McGrath. Almost a six-second lead for him. McGrath issuing the statement that, Ricky Carmichael, if you're going to tie my season records, you're going to have to earn it here tonight. For the bar! And LaRocco tries to get the advantage. Here they come over the finish line jump. LaRocco really holding on. Now, you might remember last year here in the Vans Triple Crown, these two really got into it. Villeman needed the win to win $100,000, $500,000, half a million. Hey, when LaRocco you get rode him off the track. When you get to that many zeros, who cares? I'd be happy with 100. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, uh, these guys got something to prove to each other. Villeman does not want to let LaRocco get ahead of him again in this, and LaRocco's going, hey, stay back there. He didn't deserve it last year. You don't deserve it this year. But he's got to ride perfect because Villeman is all over him. Of course, uh, no one uh, can win the $500,000 this year, the Vans Triple Crown, simply because McGrath won the first round in Anaheim, and Carmichael came back to win the second round. But there's $25,000 at stake for the high point man in those three races. White flag is out. It's the final lap. And you can see that on the board, 50.5. McGrath still hovering around that 49 second mark, so he's still getting away from these guys. Less mistakes, a little bit aggressive, more aggressive here and there. This is coming into the sand pit. He overjumped that a little bit. That's the first mistake I've seen. He still gets over that double, no problem, right to the inside. But he just looks good. You can tell when McGrath is on. There's the knack-knack. He's feeling it. Jeremy McGrath. He might have come in second this year to Ricky Carmichael, but he had a good year. The seven-time former champion, two wins, ten podiums in the 15 rounds. The checkers are out. The checkers are flying for Jeremy McGrath. The flashbulbs popping. Jeremy takes the heat win with Mike LaRocco holding off number 934, David Villeman on the Yamaha. Great race for second place, and the two riders acknowledging each other. Look at David Villam, and he pointed back to LaRocco saying, good race. Yeah, thumbs up. I didn't think I would see that. He was real frustrated last year, but I think he's having fun. I mean, he didn't ride the whole series. Nothing's really at stake here. He's just getting tuned up for the outdoor season next week. For the comments from Jeremy McGrath, let's go to Davey. Well, Jeremy, this is your last chance to beat Ricky Carmichael this year. If you ride the main event like you did that heat race, wow, he's going to be in trouble. Well, I hope so, Davey. You know, I, I got to thank Skip and Yamaha and most the Yamaha team. We, we spent a lot of hours this week working on a bike, and we kind of been chasing our tail a little bit, and I think hopefully tonight I can show that we made some progress this week, and I would like to stop that streak for sure. Right now, the score is 13 to 12. Is that the most important thing to you right now is just keeping up for that record? Honestly, I mean, records are records, and... Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked I have the record. I'm not stoked that he's going to try and beat it. But honestly, i got to get back to winning races, and that's what it's all about. And It's been a while, so I'm ready for one. Good start so far tonight, Jerry. All right, thanks. McGrath won it. Tim Ferry, who had his best finish of the year at second place last week, did not. We'll have to go to the semifinal round. McGrath, LaRocco, Villeman, and Tortelli. Sebastian Tortelli coming back from that wreck in the first turn to qualify for the main event.